Now, uh, from our Bikini Promise girls, they've been telling me that they they do miss treats and they want to know what they can have. So we decided to do uh, my red berry phyllo tarts. Okay, so the first thing is strawberries. Of course, of course has to be. Wimbledon. Yes. Um, and then into there, I've got some uh, raspberries and blueberries here. I love berries. I think they're fantastic. They're, they're so, so good for you as well. They are so good for you. Um, a bit of a technical word here, which I don't normally say things like this. They're full of anthocyanins. and that's, they are. Uh, that's the thing. All you need to know is anything that's deep, dark red or green, like broccoli, contains this thing, and that's what people call the superfood. Of course. Okay. Yep. So that's gotcha. the thing that makes them really, really good. Lovely. For you. Now they do have natural sugar in them, mm -hmm. um, but this is a treat. So we're going to add some honey, a couple of tablespoons or a couple of dessert spoons of honey. And um, when you roast these fruits off in these little yeah. um, tarts, you're just going to love the flavour. Also into there, a nice bit of crunch. I'm adding some sunflower seeds. Okay. And just give those a little mix up. And that really is as easy as that. Look, that's that, great. I mean, I could eat that just like that, to be honest. I could. I could. With a bit of yogurt, you could do that for breakfast. Yes, yeah. Really yep. nice, absolutely. wouldn't it? Absolutely. Lovely. Absolutely. Now, over here... Hiding under here, I've got the phyllo pastry. Now, phyllo pastry is um, seriously low in fat. When you compare it to puff pastry or whatever, yeah. it's obviously really, really low flat, flat fat. <laughs> and it's also very flat because it comes in these little sheets. And so what you need to do is cut these into squares. Now, on the recipe, I've written that you cut them into squares. But actually, with this phyllo, it means you actually lose a little bit. So I would cut some into... Um, Make little Rectons. ones. Yeah. Make little tiny ones. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you could. I mean, I would never waste anything like that. No, 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 no. Totally no. not. When I'm busy chopping while you're chatting, all that extra chopped stuff I take home with me for of tea. Of course, I don't absolutely. like to waste anything. And then the trick here, let's move it out of the way, is you build up, you get a tiny bit of oil, vegetable, whatever, yeah. but only the tiniest little bit. First of all, pop some in the bottom of the baking um pan bun bun tin so that it's not going to stick and then it's just a case a little bit of yeah. time but it's totally worth doing okay how many of those do you put in each you one put about well it depends a four four would yeah. do in each yeah. each one and the trick is to stagger them so that you end up with this little butterfly edge ah that's cute um and then those go really lovely and crispy. A nice tip for you as well. When you're working with phyllo pastry, it does dry in the air. And obviously the studio air is quite sure. warm. So keep them covered with cling film or with a damp tea towel. Break, wouldn't they? Yeah, yeah they so just to keep them nice sure. and pliable. Uh, this is a great one to let the kids do. And uh, in fact, I made some of these the other day and took them to a radio show. We do do cooking on radio. <laughs> and... Um, my daughter, Layla, made them for me the day before. She made all these and then right. we just did the fruit together. Oh, it's good. So I'm just going to pop so those easy, in like that. Okay. It's really important when you're on the bikini promise that you don't do without all the time. Exactly. You don't want to feel like that, don't you? know, you should never should. You don't. It, it's about um, feeding your heart, body and soul. Right. You know, yeah. food has a big job to do for us. It has to make sure that we're not too hungry, obviously, mm. that it nourishes our body, but you also have to feed your taste buds and your soul and everything around food is, it, I see food as the glue that holds the family together. Yeah, you and it's, I mean. it's one of the joys in life. Absolutely. Know? So you don't want to be, well, this is the thing about your plan. You, you never are glowering at vegetables. You know, it's all lovely and it it's, looks amazing yeah. and everybody can eat it and nobody knows that they're on this fantastic, healthy program. That's right. And we're getting such amazing results. It's we good, really are. Yeah, so if anyone really hasn't, go to the website and please download all the recipes sure. and Maxine's plans. So basically, those go in the oven mm -hmm. at about 180 degrees okay. for 15 minutes just to crunch you up. Now, of course, I've got some ready-made That's what we'd like to hear. for you. And oh, Sally, they look amazing. They, look, like, they look big really ones good. Small ones. Now, I'm going to make these look really posh, and I'm not normally good at this, as Go you on, know. Then. I'm going to pop a little bit of creme fraiche. Yeah. Always good to have low fat dairy because sure. dairy is a fat carrier. I've got some of these gorgeous little jewels, red currants, that are going to pop Pretty. on top. Look at me I'm being all look posh and chef like. <laughs> That's lovely. How do you get well? And then a little sprinkling of icing sugar. And See, over that's, to you. Do you know what? That's a delight. That looks amazing. It looks beautiful. I'm going to have a little bit of a little bit of this little berry. Yeah, here. it's not going to be easy for you to crunch mm. into at this mm. stage. Mmm. That is so good. And it's almost be... too pretty to eat, though. It's so cute, but it's gorgeous. 